You can install a freestanding washing machine or dishwasher with some simple guidance. But if you're unsure, you should always consult a qualified professional. For a washing machine, the drum is secured during delivery with four transit bolts. It's vitally important that these are removed before the appliance is installed and used. They're located at the back of the appliance and are removed with a spanner. Replace them with the blanks provided. Keep the transit bolts safe in case you need to transport the washing machine in the future. There are no transit bolts on a dishwasher. With both washing machines and dishwashers, you'll need to connect the cold water pipe and waste pipe connection. Check the installation instruction to identify the pipes. You'll need to connect the cold water pipe to a cold water supply, which is usually marked blue. This connection supplies water to the appliance. Shown here are two different examples of cold water taps. You can stop the water supply by turning the valve. Connect the tap to the cold water pipe, tighten it fully by hand rather than with a tool, and then turn the valve back on. Make sure the pipe is not kinked. There are two options for the wastewater connection, depending on the plumbing in your home. You can connect to a normal standpipe. It should be at least 30 cm high to ensure that no wastewater will re-enter the appliance, but lower than the height of the appliance itself. You'll find one of two types of wastewater pipe holder, depending upon the appliance you're fitting. Use the holder supplied to secure the wastewater pipe into position. Alternatively, you can attach the wastewater pipe to a connection underneath the sink. Under the sink, you'll see the waste connections for the appliance. These are called traps, and there are a number of different types. If you are connecting to the trap for the first time, you will need to remove a blanking cap, which acts as a stopper. Here are two different variations. With some other traps, you will need to saw off the cap. Check there are no kinks in the pipe and connect the wastewater pipe to the trap securely. With some dishwashers, you'll need to use the additional adapter and clips provided to attach the pipe. Both appliances plug into a standard socket. Contact a qualified professional if you have any questions or concerns about the electrics. You should then check that the appliance is level by using a spirit level. This is particularly important with a washing machine in order to avoid problems with unbalanced loads. You can raise and lower the feet on the appliance to adjust the appliance level. The dishwasher must also be level so that water circulation is correct, ensuring good dishwashing results. Again, the feet can be adjusted as required. Also, ensure the appliance is stable and that it doesn't rock. If so, adjust the feet so it's completely stable. To complete the installation, switch on the appliance and run a rinse program, checking carefully for any leaks. If none are found, move the washing machine or dishwasher into its final position, ensuring it remains stable. If you need any more information on installing a dishwasher or washing machine, you can contact our Product Advice Department for more assistance.